think it's quite fitting that we go to the steakhouse then. There's a lot of foot traffic though, eh? What we do to animals is absolutely abhorrent. And, and it shouldn't be illegal though. Um, no, I don't think eating meat should be illegal. You wanna have a chat, lads? Come talk about it. <laughs> is murder. Yeah. Absolutely. Should be illegal. I don't, I don't think You don't? Oh, really? Good work. Oh, good cuisine. He goes, I'm from Ethiopia. They've got amazing vegan food there. How you doing? Hey, buddy. How you going? Yeah, good. How are I'm you? Joey. Jack. Nice Jack, to meet you. nice to meet you, Jack. So you're overhearing the last conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounded really interesting. Yeah. So yeah, I saw the sign. Yeah, so, no worries. What did you think of the sign? Conversation about it. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. I think it's a definitely a big topic at the moment. Yeah. So I think it's yeah. worth talking about. Definitely. Where definitely. are you from, Australia? I'm from Australia originally. Whereabouts? Adelaide. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I travelled there. It's a great place. Yeah. Are you from here, London? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From London. Yeah. So I would like you to start off and tell me why I'm eating. Are you first off? Do you oppose or support this statement? Um, I. I I'd support it, however, I don't know if it's practical yeah. in terms of it being illegal. Okay. I don't know if it would happen. I mean, yeah, do, oh, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's more like should happen rather than will. I'm talking about more in principle. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, you look at the videos and I think a lot of the public are quite ignorant to yeah. what how it's actually created, yeah. uh, you know, how it's put on the plate. Yeah. Um, but, like, the amount of business around the world which they get their money around that yeah. like I can't see big corporate companies making that transition yeah they'll yeah. lose a lot of money yeah I, I agree with you there I don't think they're gonna change unless there's a sh big demand shift and something some type of direct action that attacks them and forces them into change um, but like the reason I'm saying it should be illegal huh. is because we have fundamental rights protecting us and like if you if I went up and kicked a dog and killed that dog you know I'd probably go to prison for animal cruelty if I went and assaulted anyone they, there's laws protecting us basically for doing something that's inherently immoral um, animals are sentient they feel pain they suffer they want to live mm -hmm. they're forcibly bred into this existence and then they're murdered and chopped up and sold into supermarkets consumer comes along and purchases that that money goes straight to the slaughterhouse goes straight to the animal agriculture and it fuels it okay yeah. so I'm saying if we made eating meat illegal yeah. on a grassroots level, on an individual level, that would s definitely slow down what's going on because what would happen to demand? It would nearly completely halt here, especially in the UK. Mm. Yeah, well, I think it's interesting because I think people should have a choice if they want to eat meat or not because yeah. it's been... People have been eating meat for a very, very long time. Has it ever been illegal? It's never been illegal in the UK. I'm no, pretty sure. No, so it's never been illegal ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think that would, I think there would be a big um, be a fight back around yeah, it. I agree. Um, because people would probably say, like, if I want to, you know, they've been they've been conditioned to think it's okay to do that. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of it's all perspective. End of the day. In interesting. We're forgetting someone else's perspective here. The victim's perspective. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. Do you true. think they should have a choice to live? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's an interesting one, that. Because um, you're only talking about the, you know, consumer's it, choice. We're not talking about the victim's choice. It's true. I think it would be uh, a good idea to make people more aware about how it's actually been made, what yeah, they're eating, because it might put people off. Um, horrible, isn't it? it? Yeah, it's disgusting, man. Yeah. Like, if you see, yeah, you look at the footage and... I've got the footage here. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is uh, called Land of Hope and Glory. Okay. A couple of friends of mine put this together. Uh, this is, uh, you know, investigators get footage from UK farms and, you know, this is a dairy farm here. They uh, stand in practice just to shoot bobby, bobby calves on their first day of life or shortly after birth because they're just not no use to the dairy industry. Um, I boycott these industries. This is uh, test uh, tail docking, uh, teeth clipping of newborn piglets. Um, these are all standard practices. You can look all these up if you want to look up standard practice. They've got it all on there. Um, industry websites, um, you know, gas chambering of pigs, is, these are battery hens here, um, free range hens are just in a big shed and, you know, a little bit more space and they're all murdered anyway. Yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not an ethical way to do it, how people are doing it, like trapped in cages and all that, like, I know some, some kind of meat is sold, but, you know, like free range, for example, so like, they live happy, but maybe a quick death they tell you they lived happy they didn't tell they? you they lived happy yeah it's a propaganda machine we were talking about earlier um 
The thing that, is, you know, I look at this and instantly I just want to block it, block it out. Like I don't, and it's it's bad to to think that, right? Do you think most human beings would react the same to looking at this footage? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know how you can look at this and then think it's all good. Like yeah, there's yeah. definitely. This is pretty standard. I've been into these sheds myself, and you see. Uh, you know, chick chickens that can't reach the feeding trays and they're just suffering and dying like this all the time. I mean, there's just so many so of them. Do you think um, like this kind of footage should be shown in schools to make kids aware or do you think it's too much? I think everyone should be made aware. Um, but obviously this is an industry, isn't it? They're, they're, they're marketing these products to us. So they, they're, they're trying to make people comfortable about it. That's why you got the RSPCA, you've got Red Tractor and all these places that are constantly being exposed. Um, Let's just say their lives were free of suffering. Let's just say, but I don't, I don't believe that's true. Let's just say that that's true. In the slaughterhouse, when they're being bolt gunned in the skull and hacked up into pieces, how can that ever be viewed as humane or moral? It can't be, yeah. um, but I don't think there's enough of a substitute for it. I really? think, yeah, well, I don't think, I, I, like if I, cause my sister was vegan for a while yeah. and she, you know, she's very conscious about what she eats. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it's, if I want to try a vegan diet, I wouldn't know Interesting. Enough about it to do it. I think I'd, you know, I wouldn't know what to buy, what wow. to replace with. So you think there's a practicality issue with people switching over, even if they knew that this was bad? Yeah. There's a practical issue with not having enough options available? Well, it's just being conscious what you're consuming. Yeah. And I think the problem is, well, it's not a problem, but the challenge is if you wanted to be more conscious about this kind of stuff, yeah. it takes a lot more effort, it right? You'd have a little to, bit you'd more. Have to, you'd have to, a, little, a little bit more. It's a metre from the soya milk to the dairy milk. Yeah. One metre. Well, you've got, you got, you got to do a bit of research. You've got to know what you can buy, what you yeah, cannot. You and, that. you know, yeah, in, in, yeah. in the supermarkets, you know, you've got to be aware about what's in what. Like, yeah, my sister has to look at all the ingredients and make sure, you yeah, know, things like that. You've got to look at it once and then you know that one's vegan. There's a lot more resources than what you'd think, and it's a lot easier than what you'd think. I just think people just need to be motivated enough to take that chance, and, and just it's a bit of work at the start, but I think it's completely worth it. Like, yeah, I do, I do, and, and as well, like um, I watched a documentary before the flood with Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know if yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah. that, and um, he talked about how like cows, you know, they produce the most like a lot of methane. Methane, so yes. it actually has a, a damage on the climate. I've got a statistic well. here from Cowspiracy Facts page, which you can verify here. It's like uh, up to 51% due to livestock. I've seen lower numbers, um, but it, it's more than all transport combined uh, when greenhouse gas emissions. By eating a plant-based diet, you can reduce your carbon footprint by 50%. Yeah. Up to 91% of Amazon deforestation, right. animal agriculture, growing soybeans to feed to animals to get a small morsel of meat, water use, land use, resource use. Yeah, that's amazing. That's th Those are amazing stats and it, that, it, massive change could happen, right? Um, so I know like for a pig, for example, I've heard it has like the same amount of consciousness as a dog. Is that right? Uh, they rank higher in intelligence, intelligence. than dogs. Uh, they are probably on par with a three or four year old child scientifically. Right, what about chickens? Chickens have uh, around the same, I think they might even be ranked, they're, they're very intelligent chickens. Right. Um, so I, I was just thinking that could be, you know, because I know chickens, for example, are less of, uh, produce less CO2. And I know like, you know, if Americans, let's say, stopped eating beef and just chicken, that would have a massive change. So I guess maybe even in terms of maybe not making uh, meat illegal, but actually having a compromise. So. You could actually ease people into it a bit more because so I guess the climate is not just in one go. I think my just it just wouldn't work. I don't think. Yeah, so swap the cows out for chickens. I think. Well, obviously, I think it's still bad for chickens, but I think in more chickens would be murdered. Yeah, there's more of them. There's they're, they're smaller. But every all, they're all getting murdered right now. So I yeah, think yeah. if it was a slower transition, um, well, well, that's why I'm saying we should just make it illegal, all of it. What are you going to do? They'll lock you up, mate. <laughs> you can't have your steak, can't have your chicken. It's destroying the environment. You're robbing the lives of sentient animals. But do you think that making it illegal is the best way to teach people about it? Because let's say drugs, for example, you know, it's illegal, but people do it anyway. And yeah. it's because they don't really, they see it more as a crime rather than actually it's it's not right, right? In, yeah. in some cases, let's like hard take drugs. drugs out of the picture because that's more of a personal choice for me. I know that sure. drug dealing has victims. Let's talk about child abuse. Child abuse is illegal, yeah? Yeah. Buying child porn is illegal, yeah? Yeah. There's victims involved in that consumer, like if you go and buy child porn, you're supporting child porn industry, bad, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think that should be illegal. Well, I think again, it comes down to the conditioning of the place. Like, so I know in like Japan or China, like that's not as um, frowned upon as it is here, right? So from, from what I've seen on online. Uh, I think it should be illegal personally. What's your personal view on that? Um, I think, like products I mean, products. yeah, dude, like, I think it's disgusting that these animals should are getting killed. No, 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 not animals. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, just applying the same logic that I'm using 
for making meat illegal, eating meat illegal. Right. Uh, I'm using that same logic in the uh, application of like Cute. products of child abuse. So like child porn, for instance, I think, I think, I think that should is. be illegal. And I, I'm just saying like for the same reasons that should be illegal, should be the same reasons that eating meat should be illegal because it's abusive to animals, it's murdering animals and it's destroying the environment. So I think like... I think there's a slight separation okay. because we're talking about humans. Yeah. Obviously like, you know, that's, that's who we are, we're humans. And so I guess, we, sadly, I think we put ourselves first over animals, right? And what you're saying, if I'm right, is you, we should be completely equal with animals. No. No, I'm saying for the same reasons that we oppose products of child abuse should be you, we should extend that to animals, not because we're exactly morally equal to animals in every way, but because they have many things in common with us. Yep. They suffer, they avoid pain, they value their lives, they value their liberty, they don't want to be abused, uh, they're sentient. Yep. So all of these reasons, I would say that they deserve at least fundamental rights, like the rights to bodily integrity and not to be enslaved and things like that. I'm not saying that you're morally equal to a chicken, but I'm saying the chicken possesses these values. Yeah, for that, sure. Yeah. They've, they've got some level of consciousness. Yeah, like, like, look, 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 look at a toddler. Like a toddler. They run around, they're drooling. Ma, ma, ma. Look at a pig. A pig's like not much different in mental capacity. Their, you know, the yeah. ability to perceive the world. I think another thing to think about is some people actually um, eating meat is actually a good diet for them, I feel. I, I mean, I don't, I don't have enough research, but I know, um, was it Jordan Peterson's daughter is a real supporter for a uh, car carnivore diet. Yeah. And my sister, she's um, always been like plant-based, yeah. but she's always very weak. So she's thinking about actually trying that to give her more strength. So if it's completely legal, it might actually affect some people from being able to get the kind of food they need. Uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter has no scientific evidence for her claims that a full meat diet is in any way healthy. She's talking basically off of anecdotal evidence only. There is no scientific support for her claims. Um, when you talk about a plant-based diet, there's a, a body of nutrition professionals, about 100,000 of them, and they make up the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and they brought out a peer-reviewed statement supported by 117 studies saying that a vegan diet can be healthy for all stages of life, infancy, pregnancy, adulthood, uh, even into your you know elderly years, if it's well planned. Um, so, so would you say that a plant-based diet can do everything which meat can do for the body? I'd say meat is the number one contributor to heart disease just based on its saturated fat cholesterol content. It contributes to type 2 diabetes. It's doing the opposite of what healthy diets would do. Yep. Plant foods are full of antioxidants, fiber, nutrients, minerals. There's nothing in meat that we can't get from plants or from a B12 supplement and that you know helps the environment too. I heard an alkaline diet is really good. Have you ever tried that? I've heard about that. I've yeah. just, uh, I've, the only diet proven. Plant based, but yeah, plant based, yeah. but alcohol. A whole foods plant based diet is the only diet proven to reverse the number one killer, which is heart disease. So it's been right. proven in clinical study to reverse uh, atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, which is the number one killer of human beings. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think it comes down to if it. If there needs, if there's going to be a change, it needs to be every every individual has to be more conscious of what they're consuming, yeah. right? Um, but I think it takes time to change the conditioning of a place. Yeah, like it does take time. So I guess really, I think just making it illegal, it just wouldn't work. It would have to be a slow process. Um, Why but wouldn't it work? I just I just think because pe 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 there would be uproar. Yeah. There would be uproar. People would be like, no, this is wrong. Like because they maybe haven't been so, educated. So practically, you don't think it would work. Let's just say like, but put it, if put it, it did put work, it. would you think it would be a good solution? Let's just say it worked. Well, I think it would stop it nearly completely. Yeah, I mean, I can't see how it wouldn't make. Be black. The world There'd be like underground slaughterhouses, and they'd have to really do things in. You know. Yeah. No, for sure. I think at the end of the day, let, let's say it went illegal. Um, like uh, there'd be more, there'd it? be more. Would yeah. you support it? Would you be like, oh, fuck it, I'll just fucking try plant based. Um, uh, come on, yeah. If it was illegal, I'd, yeah, I'd give it a go. Actually, yeah, to be yeah. fair, like if it was more like, if they put it in front of you and said this is happening, then I'd definitely give like a plant based. I'd say diet, if you so. go buy a steak, you're gonna get one month in prison. Right. Well, the thing is, it'd be if it was illegal, then it means it would be easier to get uh, the, the right kind of foods yeah. in terms of plant-based diet. Everywhere would be plant-based. It's hard not to eat meat right now because it's, it's easy everywhere. to. It's just everywhere. It's much more convenient. Yeah. So you have to do a little bit. Of, like do, oh, here's one: convenience. Do you think convenience should justify this and this, like what we're doing to the earth and the animals? No. Yeah. No, it shouldn't. But convenience is the way the world's going. Everything. Or instant gratification, yeah, you want things same. fast. Like, it's much more of an inconvenience to be on your way to a slaughterhouse or for us not to have an earth to live on. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, so at what point should the government go, right, this is it? 
eating meat's illegal. It's it's illegal. At what point? Like, we're nearly there with the environment being irreversible, the damage we're doing. Uh, billions and billions of animals every... 2.3... Uh, 2.7 trillion, sorry, including marine animals every year murdered. I don't... They, they won't, because there's too much of a high demand for meat. Um... And I think the only way was if someone created their own economy, wow. um, which, ha and, you know, you kind of duplicated a mindset around that. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't think they'd lose too much money. There'd be too much uproar. Yeah. I, I can't see it happening unless, I guess, like, like I said, someone started their own economy around it. Well, on an individual level, you can do something with the impact that you cause to the animals and to the environment. But the best, the single biggest thing you can do for the environment and to help animals and for your health is to eat a plant-based diet. If yeah, would you say your sister? Yeah, my a, sister. If she's lacking energy, she's not counting her calories right, or it could be something to do with uh, she's not absorbing certain nutrients. That that I wouldn't say that's uh, inherent to the diet. Yeah, that might. I, th I think um, the, the struggle she's had. I think she's lacked in certain minerals, and I think that's just a case of her experimenting on you know what food she should eat to get. Chronometer is a fantastic app which tracks all your minerals so I don't know how much she's eating because a lot of the time when you're tired you're not eating enough because plant foods are calorie dilute so increasing your dried fruits and your, your starches and I don't know exactly what she's eating but I wouldn't write off the, the plant-based diet uh, just based on that one anecdote there because the science is in full support of this way of eating. So. Yeah. Well that's it. I'm sure there's so many people who debate around this right and they, yeah. they, they say oh you know actually meat can be good for you in some cases but i guess you know the facts tell right so we've got three things environment animals and health well that's it and i think uh, yeah, that's massive i'm a big one for the environment i think um yeah. I, I definitely want to make my own individual impact there and yeah i mean you look at these videos and it's horrible yeah um but you know it's easy for people to just get in get distracted with their own life and they don't see the bigger picture so I, I guess maybe if it was illegal then it would also mean that they'd have to they'd have to uh, they'd be forced to change they'd have to be forced to change but there'd have to be some education around it as of well course. because you can't expect people to no. stop having something without being without knowing why without knowing why I think exactly. with all forms of activism even direct action there all sh always should be education which is what we just well, did here thing, if you made it illegal you'd have to completely change the um, education process because kids would need to learn uh, you, you know, don't need milk for stuff. calcium yeah yeah, exactly. They're teaching our kids all of this. They're not showing kids this. But yeah. yeah. You know what, brother? Thank cool, you man. so much for that chat. Sorry really I loved it. let more of a debate to you, but no, I think it's a really good course. No, we were in agreement with most things, but I think we still covered a lot of things. I think it was great. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot, brother. Joey Carbstrong, Joey if you want to see. I'll and you. Challenge22.com. Challenge22. 22 day vegan challenge. Try it. Okay. In all a right. Facebook group, they're all, uh, a few of my friends run this organization. It's fantastic. Okay, cool. Give it a crack. I'll check it out, man. No cool, worries, brother. Take care. We got three really do decent debates. Conversa I love talking to him then. Um, what do you reckon? It's, should we call it?